हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये लाइब्रेरियन परचेज फिफ्टी स्टोरी बुक्स फॉर इज लाइब्रेरी बट ही सा दैट ही कुड गेट फोर्टीन मोर बुक्स बाई स्पेंडिंग सेवेंटी सिक्स रुपीज मोर एंड द एवरेज प्राइस पर बुक वुड बी रेड्यूस्ड बाई वन रुपी द एवरेज प्राइस इन रुपीज ऑफ ईच बुक ही बॉट वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम एवरेज चैप्टर आई टोल्ड देर इज ओनली वन फॉर्मूला इन एवरेज चैप्टर एंड यू हैव टू स्टिक टू दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द एसपरेंट्स इवन आफ्टर नोइंग दैट फॉर्मूला कॉन्सेप्ट they were not able to solve the problems because they were not able to understand the problem properly the very reason for not understanding the problem is they are not going step by step i told divide and rule okay divide each and every sentence go step by step one sentence at a time if you do this you can understand the problem very well don't think the problem as a whole write the equation for a particular sentence and the number of equation for each sentence okay and then solve these equations my friends clear right now in this problem we have two scenarios two cases first one is when librarian purchased 50 story books second one is after purchasing he saw that he could get 14 more books by spending 76 rupees more so there are two cases my friends understand now i have written all the given information in a proper format okay this is very important my friends okay you need to identify the information given and you need to put them in proper format okay so two cases we have during purchase and after purchase okay now we'll go through during purchase case okay a librarian purchased 50 story books for his library we don't know the average my friends okay so i am assuming the average as x price also we don't know okay total price of 50 books we don't know let's assume the price as p number of books 50 my friends this is clear right now second case is after purchase okay after purchase he saw that he could get 14 more books so total number of books would be 50 plus 14 that is equal 64 okay he could get 14 more books by spending 76 rupees more now the price would be p plus 76 my friends okay now in this case average price per book would be reduced by 1 rupee okay so average is x minus 1 this is clear right now equation part my friends okay we have identified all the information now putting them in equations format we know average is equal total sum okay total price by number of books so i am writing the equation for case 1 okay that is average x is equal total price p by number of books 50 that implies p is equal 50 x now i am writing the equation for case 2 okay so average is x minus 1 price P plus seventy six number of books okay sixty four so P plus seventy six is equal sixty four into x minus one. Now we want average price of each book he bought okay he bought each book at an average of x rupees okay x is the value we want. Now substituting P is equal fifty x in this equation okay. 50x plus 76 is equal 64x minus 64. So 64x minus 50x is equal 76 plus 64. So this is 14x is equal 140. Okay, 76 plus 64 is 140. Now x is equal 10 rupees. So our answer is B, my friends. Okay. remember understanding the problem is very very important for that you have to go step by step okay the way i have gone through it okay i have written all the information and wrote down the equations okay 
and then eliminated the value which are not necessary for us. Okay, P is not necessary for us. I have eliminated it and found out the value of H. Okay. To know more about the course, kindly visit csatmantra.com. If you have any queries, feel free to call us or mail us. Thank you.